Welcome to the Chateau de Lalande, a 16th century chateau in the heart of France. Join us each day of Advent as we get this 19 bedroom home ready for Christmas. We'll be cooking, decorating and discovering Christmas traditions from all over the world. Welcome to Christmas at Lalande. Hello and welcome to another day of Advent at Lalande. Well, I'm really happy because my aunt and uncle have <laughs> arrived for Christmas and we are going in their beautiful car to the local market. Excellent. All right, well, let's go. It's all happening now. We've decided that midwinter is the perfect time to put the top down. <laughs> I love this car. Mad dogs and Englishmen. Oh, let Christmas <laughs> begin. Tatinette, are you looking for anything in particular in town? Yes, a few Christmas presents for everyone. <laughs> We're all because doing I haven't yes. had the chance to get anything. A little array of presents. Yeah, and I want to see what sort of food there is in the market. That will oh, be lovely. lovely. That's my So looking shopping. forward to French food again. <laughs> it will be fantastic. We've been gruel in England. A yeah. oh, gruel, is that all you have? Gruel? <laughs> gruel and salted <laughs> porridge. <laughs> oh, my father's favourite. What a magnificent group of people. I have to say, Tonton Stephen, that is some outfit. Thank you. <laughs> Trust you are a vision. vision. <laughs> oh, tu aimes le saucisson? Oui, j'aime le saucisson. Well, it's silly not to have any at home. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, combien sont-ils? 150 euros, madame. Ah, c'est très raisonnable. Ben, dis-tu. J'étais à 600 euros hier et là, je les ai laissés. Ce sont les prix de Noël. 450, madame. 450. Alors, qu'est-ce que vous avez comme, euh, comme Alors, saucisson? Il y a noisettes, truffes et vin. Mm. <laughs> Popular choice. Sep, sep, oui. Oui. Herbe de Provence. Herbe de Provence. Uh, piment. Oh. Oui. Donkey. Ah. Oh, donkey, gosh. Oui. No. <laughs> Not in the mood for donkey today, Tatiana? No. Nature. Bon, alors vous avez dit 4,50 pour un. 3 pour 12. 3 pour 12. Bon, 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 prends pour 3. 3, oui. Alors, je vais prendre celui avec les cèpes, s'il vous plaît. Celui avec les truffes. Et ensuite, un au piment. piment. Et un au piment. Piment. <laughs> piment. Voilà, 1200 euros. <laughs> he just told us you don't forget you need five fruits, five vegetables, and five saucissons every day. We have three. <laughs> the cheeses look incredible, but that's the one thing we don't need after yesterday's enormous cheese buying expedition. But look at the truffle one there. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, that suits you. It's very important to buy an armchair that suits you. Yes. Le problème avec lui, c'est que tout lui va bien. On a pris la mauvaise voiture. Very important market stall where you can buy leather armchairs, rugs, or fur coats. Vous pouvez en avoir un, s'il vous plaît. Ah oui. Et qu'est-ce que vous préférez quoi, du roblochon ou du chèvre? Oh. Tu vois un peu de roblochon. Ah, roblochon. Oui, très bien. C'est pour manger sur place ou... Absolument, oui, pour manger sur place. Eh bien, c'est des pommes de terre râpées oui. avec euh, du sel, du poivre. Mm. Donc je fais deux galettes et à l'intérieur je mets du fromage. Donc, notamment ou du fromage de chèvre ou du fromage de roblochon. Merci voilà, beaucoup. Mademoiselle. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Bonne fête. Au revoir également. Look at this. It is two potato galettes with roblochon cheese sandwiched and melted in the middle. I love the local market. Okay, let's go and find some other goodies. So I think it's going to be really hard to top this. That, that is Christmassy goodness in a single bite. Mm. They sell lots of oysters in the market at this time of year because it's very traditional in France to have oysters for the big end of year festivities. Sadly, it is the only food that I'm allergic to. I had a bad oyster when I was 20 and ever since I've been allergic to oysters. It's so annoying because I used to love them. 
Behind me is the butcher's stall and it's absolutely wonderful. But we don't need anything because tonight we are having a cocktail party and we're having canapes. Tomorrow, Filippo is cooking a ragu and he brought everything that he needs for that. And on Christmas day, my aunt and uncle have ordered a 10 kilo turkey raised locally. Dan the gardener has arranged it for us. He is a man of many talents. So we have a beautiful turkey arriving on the day. However, I can see the fish stall and I do need some scallops. I'm going to make little cookie Saint Jacques in the shells uh, as part of our canapes this evening. That is another very traditional dish at Christmas, which I absolutely love to have. At Christmas, my ideal is to mix the best of French and English culinary traditions because they're both incredible. She was shivering. Oh, Are you going to do that with Audrey? <laughs> <laughs> On my back. Pourrais-je avoir du parsi, s'il vous plaît? My aunt is going to make a mixed salad tonight for everybody and so she's chosen some fennel so far, some lettuce, we've already bought the parsley so that will go in and garlic. Plus goût de terre, ah. voilà. Et c'est si plus sucré, plus. Bon, je vais pour le sucré. <laughs> We're all like, good choice. Not the mud beetroot. Not the mud beetroot. Oh, look at the fat tomatoes. They're beautiful. Ah, c'est pas la cœur de bœuf. Ah, c'est pas la cœur. Non, c'est. Mais elle est bonne. C'est meilleur que. Bon, ben je. Oui, je prends les deux. Je prends les deux. Vous les cinq ça C'est parfait. My aunt is an amazing cook. So we're all lucky she's here. <laughs> now we're having a little lunch pit stop before doing some serious antique shopping. Well, charity shop shopping. <laughs> We've come into a very snug, warm restaurant. I don't know what we're going to eat. It's pizzas here, isn't it? And burgers. Yes. Perfect. Pizza and burger. Such Ooh, typical yeah. French food. <laughs> oh, yeah. bourguignon. Oh, well, there we go. Actually, I'm, I good. might go for the mussels. Oh, they looked good downstairs Ooh, when we came in. Chips. Yes. Moule frites. I just wanted to show you all. Look, there's like a little tiny area jutting out in this building. With, look, wouldn't this make a cute little study? I think this is adorable. And then... And see the pretty street outside. <laughs> Cheers, everyone! Cheers. I'm so happy you're all Cheers. here. And to a good day of shopping. It's a wonderful day to be together Sorry? at long last. It's, it's a Scottish thing okay. to yes. say. Oh, à votre santé. À votre santé. À votre santé. It is ages since I had moule frites. Et moi aussi. C'est bon. Deux ans et demi. Mm. C'est délicieux. They're so nice. Mm. And so. That's such a plate. Yes. A bowl of. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, mm -hmm. there's the place in England we go to sometimes that we haven't eaten for a while, and they have these big bowls like this, but. You've got five you, or six got fighting the, against each other. That's, that's the bowl. <laughs> oh, that's the bowl. And that's the lid. <laughs> so here they've got it the right way around. On. <laughs> and you've gone very French as well. Yes. Mm. Your confit de canard. And it looks absolutely delicious. Mm. It is, it is. We've got to plan our attack of La Chatre this afternoon. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure everyone here just wants to look at little antiques and pop oh, Absolutely. Do. Absolutely. Do we do? So you use an empty shell as tweezers? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the way to eat mussels? Yeah, well, we all yeah. do. Yeah, that's. Yeah, voila. They make perfect little you tweezers. Pick you pick it up like that. Yeah. You pick it up and you open it and pop it in your mouth. That's it. You know what? Here I didn't go. know. Mm -hmm. Like this. Et voila. Mussels, the dish that comes with its own cutlery. <laughs> <laughs> Which come to think of it, it's probably why you never order it, Philip, because you can't get like special fancy mussels cutlery. No. I think that's the reason. Oh, you're using oh, it for oh. chips. Oh, I like what you're doing. Wow. Hang on. Yes, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault that we're having dessert. <laughs> sweet, I, sweet tooth. <laughs> yeah, I thought, no, no, we don't need this. But look how small they are. Just a little, so a little tiny. I know they're darling. Blueberry okay. pie, apple pie, and ice cream. I don't know what type of ice cream. And a coffee. Let's have a look. Rum raisin? Yes. Yes. Rum and raisin, yes. Rum raisin's oh, my favourite. Yes. Rum raisin? Is it? My yes. favourite. I love rum. It's your favourite too. My favourite. The lovely flavour of rum. <laughs> the only ice cream I eat. From the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> 
it'll take Black us coffee. straight back to Barbados. And we'll put the link here. To that. <laughs> <laughs> I love those photos and I stop and look at them whenever I come to town. Outside the old court, which is they're hoping to transform into a museum of the city, because it's not really used at the moment, they are showing an exhibition of photography, very, very early photography by a local photographer called Jeannie de Vasson. And this is just photos of around the local area, but there's something about them that just makes you feel how modern the people are. Somehow, it's as though we're all just transported back to those days. This is a self-portrait of the photographer. But it's not the portraits themselves that I find most interesting, like this. I like people in the rooms all together. Isn't that one amazing? The salon in Issoudan. Issoudan is rather near to here. This is how people lived. This is what they wore. This gentleman looks as though he's dressed just to come to one of our parties. He was an illustrator. Bernard Naudin. I love what he's wearing. 1909. It's wonderful having these in town. Look at the picnic. A group of friends in 1903. Excellent hats. How the women used to wash the clothes and the laundry. Can you imagine? how hard it would have been to do the laundry in those days. And look, another woman arriving in the background with her dog and the workers in the field. Look how happy she seems to be to have her photo taken. Well, they already had a little bit of machinery to help, but my goodness, the work to do that. Even the bank is incredibly charming. Look at that building. And yes, the Mairie Joyeux Noël. We've come to look at the little antique shop. They have a beautiful dinner service in the window today. En pierre style. It's sold. Fiance. The... Oh, what a shame. Yeah, that one's sold. And I love this. This is called the Bonheur du Jour. Um, happiness of one's days. And it's a little desk. And it's a Louis the Sixteenth desk. I think it is beautiful. I know they're selling it for 1,200. Uh, so it's not really something I'm looking forward to buy as a Christmas present. But we're going to pop in and see if we can find something for my aunt. We found something lovely for my aunt for Christmas Day. But obviously, I can't show you yet. Okay, let's carry on. Next, I'm going to pop into the pharmacy. Love French pharmacies because I need some body products. I've popped into a pharmacy. French pharmacies are much more interesting than pharmacies around the world because they have loads of really great skin products and I like this company. So I'm getting a huge amount of uh, cream for my skin and bath gel because it's very drying at the chateau at the moment. The air is just somehow too dry. Oh, it's a turtle. It's a turtle. It's a turtle hot water bottle. How brilliant is that? I don't think we need another hot water I don't think we need it for like It's such a pity because it's adorable. And now our final stop of the day is going to be the little ball cart. Because we have to rush back. We have a cocktail party tonight, which means we can't stay longer in town. We spent too long at lunch. Here we are at Bernard's shop, which was Marie's favourite shop in La Chartre. We're very much missing Marie this Christmas. Is it open, do we think? Oh yes, I think it is. Oh look, there's a little chap welcoming us to the store. There's so many things here. I barely know where to start. Such an Aladdin's cave. There are lovely things. That little bird in the frame. That's pretty. The candlestick. Butter dish. And there I like the perfume bottle very much and all the silver and crystal. Yeah, what have you found? Oh yes, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And another one here. Oh, what a pretty blue jug. Oh, pity it's got a chip. It's very pretty. There's quite a nice dinner service here. It's and lovely it's, colors. It's Renault. Renault, very nice. It's oh yes, there's one. a lot of it as well. We're not here for dinner services. <laughs> no. First China pantry, then more dinner services. <laughs> Oh, there's a lovely little chicken in a basket over here. I do love a chicken in a basket. Did I hear you say squirrel? Squirrel basket. <laughs> right there. Oh, that little tiny one. Oh, it's a mixture of different animals yes. to hold the knives. They're really cute. I got the little knife holders for Philip's stocking. 
We're back in the excellent car, but I think the weather's turned a little too much for us to go home with the top down. <laughs> Here we are, back home. I love that pinkish uh, gravel, it's lovely. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Oh, there's Dan's van. I know that because it's green. We're back at the chateau and I have to go downstairs and get everything ready for the cocktail party tonight. But first I wanted to show you what we found for my aunt. So she's not going to be allowed to watch this video. In the little antique shop, we got these frames. And that's why we were so surprised then to see very similar ones at the Brocant afterwards. They're Napoleon III frames and they're in great condition. They still have their original glass beautiful very thick beveled glass on these and these are a pair there yeah, aren't they wonderful i think we were very lucky to find these and then something else we'll obviously be rewrapping these on christmas day on christmas or for christmas <laughs> with me usually on christmas day <laughs> this is so pretty i really love this my aunt told Philip how much she loved his bonbonniere that we put all of the chocolates in in her bedroom when we were preparing that room. For those of you who haven't seen us prepare the room, I will put a link to that video now. Philip had this lovely, really stunning porcelain box and my aunt really loved it. And we thought this was in a similar style, so she might like this too. How delightful is this? It's what's called a tisanière, which is a herbal tea, a tisane, a little tea. It's to make tea just on the bedside table somebody could have had a little oil burning in here and then that would keep their lovely herbal tea warm next to their bed and this is 19th century it's beautiful isn't it i hope she likes it i love the musical instruments and the music the scores on it and the, just the darling little teapot and look it sits in really neatly because it's got a very deep base so that it doesn't fall off and it heats up nicely. Which also means that you get much more tea than you might think. You see, it's deeper than it appears at first. So I'm really pleased with this and I hope she loves it. And I hope you enjoyed coming with us for our Christmas shopping and our food shopping in the local market. Tomorrow, I will show you more of our cocktail party and more Christmas preparations at La Lande. Until then, lots of love and a very, very merry advent.